All right, guys, so now I want to show you how to solve for your unknown currents once you've got your, your three equations for your, for your currents. Um, I made a video before showing how to, how to set up your current equations, so I encourage you, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video. I'll put a link in the, in the description of this video. But now I want to show you how to use some linear algebra techniques in order to solve for your unknown currents. So here we have our current equations. I just put them in a little bit simpler form, adding the 0, i3, 0, i1. And I put it in matrix form over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some determinants and we're going to use a technique to solve for the unknown currents that essentially it's just Kramer's rule from linear algebra. Um, if you haven't if you haven't done linear algebra, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. But essentially, we're just taking determinants, and if you don't know how to how to take determinants, I encourage you to watch a video on how to do that. But you can pretty much type this in your calculator. So if we want to solve for i3, what we need to do is we need to take the determinant, the total determinant, I'm sorry, that's going to be on the bottom. Let's call this A. This is matrix A. We need to take the determinant of A in the denominator, and in the numerator, we need to take the determinant of A with column 3 being replaced with, they call this B, the, um, the actual numbers on the right hand side. So let's call that A3. We're going to replace row 3 with our, our results, our numbers on the right hand side if we want to solve for current 3. So if we wanted to solve for current 2, we would take negative 22, 12, and 0, and we'd plug it into the second row here if we wanted to solve for i2. So we're solving for i3. So we're going to take the determinant of a3. So this would be rows, I'm sorry, columns 1 and 2 are going to remain unchanged. And we're going to replace column 3 with negative 22, 12, and 0. And if you're not familiar with um, linear algebra notation, these straight lines, they don't mean the absolute value. What they mean is that you're going to take the determinant of that matrix. So when you plug it in your calculator, you need to plug it in however you take the determinant of a matrix. So we're taking the determinant of A with column 3 replaced with these numbers. We're taking that over the determinant of the whole thing. So 4, negative 3, 0, 0, 3, 12, 1, 1, negative 1. And when you take the determinant of A3 over A, you'll get that I3 is equal to 3 sixteenths A. So you're going to do the same thing if you want to solve for all of the currents. You're going to do the same thing for I2 and then you can just plug I3 and I2 into this equation to solve for I1. Um, 